In this tutorial we're going to look at some of the very basic concepts to do with combo boxes. My interface here shows that I've got a text box at the top, that's where we're going to get some user input. With the click of a button we're going to add items uh, entered by the user into the combo box. We've also got some other buttons where we're going to show that uh, you can delete a single item or you can delete everything from the combo box. Let's double click the add button. Now first of all I need a variable that's going to take my user input. So I'll just add a comment as I go. And I'm going to instantiate it to have a null value. That's what the two speech marks are there for. Next I'm going to add data to the variable called fruit. And so we go fruit, the assignment statement, and then we say, well, where are we getting the data from? It's from a text box called text fruit. If I just add the four sections to our bits of code here, we've got our declarations, we've got our input. Next up, we have processing, and that'll be followed by some output. Now in the processing, I'm going to show a way of sorting oops, sorting the combo box data into alphabetical order. It's an ascending order from A to Z. The way we do that is type the name of the combo box. I'm using CBO here as my prefix for combo box and it has the sorted property. Now it's a boolean value so a sorted option will be set to true. Then finally for our output we want to see the piece of uh, fruit or the fruit name that we've just typed. We want to see that in the combo box itself. So it follows a similar syntax to adding items to a list box. It's the name of the combo box dot items dot add then in parentheses we're saying, well, where are we getting the data from? In this case, we're getting it from a variable called fruit. Then we're just going to tidy up some loose ends. By clearing all the data in the text box and then placing the cursor back in the text box, ready for the next entry. Now to delete a single item, just one line of code is needed. It's the name of the combo box dot items dot remove this time rather than add. And what do we want to remove? We want to remove the item that is actually selected. So that uses the selected item property of the combo box. Then finally one more line of code to delete all of the items in the combo box. We're going to go CBO fruit.items.clear just like we would clear everything inside a text box. Now before I run the program I'm going to show you another way of adding data to the combo box because we've already got it happening in code that's this one here. CBO fruit or the combo box dot items dot add and then in brackets where are we getting the data from? It could be the name of another control, but we're using better programming practice by using a variable instead. It could be hard-coded text, but that's only useful in some circumstances. Well, another way to do that is in Design View. If we click on the combo box, you can either go over to the Properties panel and click on the three little dots next to uh, Items, or you can just click the little uh, arrowhead to the top right of the combo box and then choose edit items. Either way you're brought to the same box. Now I've got two items in here already. I've got pineapple and grape. Now I've deliberately written them in an order that's not alphabetical as we'll see soon. 
So if I go OK and run the program. OK, so if we look at the combo box already, we can see pineapple and grape are there. Now notice that they're not in alphabetical order. These items were added in the design view and they were added out of order, alphabetically speaking. The line where we've got the combo box name dot sorted to property equaling true is actually behind the add button code. So these aren't going to get sorted until then. We'll show later how we can get those sorted uh, when the program first loads. So what we're going to do is add some items. Orange, apple, pear. Now because we've already clicked this add button, the items here should actually be in alphabetical order now. And there they are. If I select one of them, orange, go delete, then we check the list again, orange has disappeared. Also if I go delete all, there's nothing left. Now let's just close that, go back into the code, and let's change where we're placing the sorted code. If I grab that, cut, and then double click the form itself. So we're going into the form one load event. So this sorted property will be set to true as soon as the program loads, as we'll see. We should expect to see grape and pineapple in that order, rather than pineapple then grape, as it's written in design view. Okay, if we check the items in the combo box, there we go, they're in alphabetical order, because on the forms load, the items in the combo box are now being sorted. It will still uh, sort everything, go orange, oops, apple, pear, and everything's still all sorted in our combo box.